Okay, this is a video on how to winterize your bike. The, the bike I have here is a 91 Kawasaki ZXR400. Um, first off, you, you want to have your bike in a safe and dry place. So it's better to be dry and cold rather than dry and warm because warmth could possibly create condensation which then leads to rust and you don't want that. Okay, first off, um, I bought myself these paddock stands here. I uh, got them off sports bike shop uk for £60 for both of them, so it's a pretty good deal. Um, uh, yeah, I suggest getting them because one, you know, it's easier to wash the bike and service it and whatnot. And two, for winter, because as you can see, it's lifted off the ground, therefore I don't get any flat spots. Um, talking about flat spots, you do definitely don't want flat spots, obviously. Uh, if you don't know what a flat spot is, it's pretty much if you leave your tyre you hold the bike in one place for a very long time the rubber will eventually like just flatten out which isn't the best for stability I guess but uh yeah so you want to find a nice place to locate your bike um if you can't put it anywhere inside what I suggest is what I'm doing is have something like a roof like this over it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a shelter just sort of like a few wooden posts up here and then a slanty roof just so the snow doesn't get onto it um, definitely invest in a cover as well. That's a MotoGP cover. Uh, they're always good. Um, right, so pretty much what you want to do first is you want to wash the bike. Uh, just give it a good clean over. Just er everywhere you can. Uh, lube the chain. That will stop rust. And then, uh, okay, what I did. So I washed the bike top to bottom. Lube the chain. And then, because my bike has a carburetor, so if your bike has a choke, one of these things, um, then you want to find your fuel tap here. See, mine's an off. And what you want to do is you want to run the bike until it stalls, and that means you get all the fuel out of the carburetor. Okay, and uh, if I can find my keys, I will show you. Okay, the keys are in here somewhere. Oh, here they are. So, put that in. The bike's already warmed up because I literally just did it. Oh, of course I can't show you because I took the battery out. Fail, okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> so pretty much you want to do it so when you try to start the bike, it won't start at all. Uh, next step, what I did, well, you want to make sure you have a full tank of fuel because that uh, doesn't allow any evaporation really. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so you don't want any old stale fuel or the bike won't start at all. Um, so once you've made sure all the fuel's out of the carburetor, you want to remove the battery. A handy little torch like this is always good to have. So this is where my battery was. My battery's down here. And uh, these screws, make sure you always put them back into the battery because there's these little bits that uh, hold on to them just make sure they're screwed on just like finger tight just so they don't fall off and just so the bits inside doesn't fall off either but uh, yeah you can get a friend or something to help you if you really want to but it's it's easy one person job um, yeah so give the bike a wash over get it on the stands uh, I suggest uh, what I've got here is um, I've got a disc log here so I'll just slot this on the bike here and then if you can get a ground anchor and put it on I mean I'll put a chain on this as well just you know just leave it through the frame or the fork or even a tire but problem with wheels is they can be removed um, it's pretty much what you want to do oh tire pressure you want to check your tire pressure uh, I personally prefer to have my tire pressure at around 30 to 35 psi I heard that it helps I don't know how it helps it's just a tip I heard don't know if it works at all either <laughs> another thing you want to do is you want to remove your seats and take them inside same with the battery you want to take your battery and your leather seats and take them inside because Otherwise, it could get all horrible, and the battery will discharge itself if it gets too cold, seemingly. So, uh, yeah, so you've cleaned your bike, emptied the carburetor, 
taken out the battery, removed the seats, and that's like, and then uh, secured your bike, and that's pretty much it. Then all you got really to do is put the cover over. But uh, something you want to do, well, you want to get ready for next year, because uh, obviously you want to get your bike and then take out for a ride as soon as the snow goes. But one thing you definitely have to do is uh, get a new oil and get a new oil filter. Now some people prefer to change the oil and the oil filter when they put the bike away but I think it's best off to do it after winter because then you've got fresh oil for sure. So you want to do that and then uh, perhaps chain the oil again and then redo your tire pressures just to make sure for it out to ride. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's always good to oh yeah it's always good to have a light here just to help you out see into the nook and crannies and whatever you want to call it um, yeah that's that's uh, my tips on what to do to winterize your bike uh, I hope this helped um, if I've missed anything just comment or send me a mail got any more questions ask away and I'll try my best to answer it but uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful, and this is for all motorbikes. Hey, thanks for watching.